Today, let's dive into Sophie's performance. It was a rather intriguing day with several key data points and market activities worth discussing. I'll break down everything you need to know, from trading volumes to institutional purchases and the actions of short sellers. But before we get into that, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's get started. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. Sophie closed up 0.88% today, a modest gain but a positive move nonetheless. The stock didn't experience wild volatility, which is generally a good sign. About 21.9 million shares were traded today, compared to the daily average of 44.6 million shares. I spent a lot of time scanning through various stocks, either for quick analyzes or for in-depth videos like today's, where I also covered Lucid and a few other stocks. One notable observation across these stocks, including Sophie, was the reduced level of algorithmic trading. Out of the 20.9 million shares traded, a significant portion was attributed to institutional activity in both dark pools and secondary markets. This institutional buying was a key driver for Sophie's upward movement. Interestingly, there was no specific news or SEC filings about Sophie today. However, broader market movements were influenced by the GDP report, which provided a positive push. Even with the PCE report due tomorrow, the market held strong without much hesitation or pullback, suggesting that investors might be anticipating positive PCE results. This expectation likely led to increased buying by larger institutions, propelling the stock price higher. On the flip side, short sellers were actively trying to suppress Sophie's price. Today, short interest increased by 454 million shares, bringing the total to 1787% of the free float, or approximately 185.61 million shares shorted. The average cost to borrow these shares is around 297%, and the utilization rate stands at 77.78%. These figures indicate significant short selling activity which has been rising over the past three months. The days to cover DTC for shorts is currently 375 days, meaning that on average, shorts are holding their positions for nearly four days. This is relatively high and indicates that shorts are expecting to hold their positions for a longer period rather than engaging in day trading. Those shorting Sophie seem to be betting on the stock remaining within a certain range. However, with substantial institutional buying, the market appears poised for a potential breakout, which could put shorts in a difficult position. Despite no major news today, options trading was robust, with two 5 million call options and one 14 million put options, indicating a generally bullish sentiment. Of all the options traded today, 44% were calls, reflecting optimism among traders. Looking at the open interest for options expiring tomorrow, there is significant activity around the $7 strike price, Shorts are likely to increase their positions to keep Sophie below this level. Without the short selling pressure, Sophie might have risen by 3% to 4% today, similar to other stocks that saw gains in the range of 3% to 7%. The suppression by shorts suggests a continued battle ahead, particularly with key data like the PCE report coming out tomorrow. Sophie closed at $6.91, trading between the S1 support and the pivot point. The next strong support level to watch is $1.679, which the stock bounced off of earlier today, hitting a low of $1.681. On the resistance side, $1.699 is the next significant target, followed closely by the critical $1.7 level. For Sophie to break above $1.7, it will need strong support from institutional investors and favorable PC data. On the technical side, Sophie is in the lower percentile of the Bollinger Bands, with a stochastic indicator showing a bullish deviation at 15, indicating it is oversold. If the PCE data is better than expected, we could see a rush of value investors similar to what we saw today. Notably, today's trading volume was driven primarily by institutions rather than retail investors. Retail investors might be weary after enduring the stock's volatility and hesitant to buy the dip, preferring to hold their positions instead. In summary, today's trading activity in Sophie highlighted significant institutional buying amidst an overall positive market sentiment driven by macroeconomic data. 
Short sellers are actively trying to suppress the stock, leading to an ongoing tug of war. With key economic data due tomorrow, the market's reaction will be crucial in determining Sophie's near-term trajectory. The technical indicators suggest potential for a rebound if the data aligns favorably, but cautious sentiment among retail investors might limit the stock's momentum. Keep an eye on the $1.679 support and $1.7 resistance levels as we move forward. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.